All right, so it's Monday and uh, I've been to do a few jobs this morning. I've been to an appointment to have my eyes tested. I've done that, so I've come home and it's lunchtime and I feel peckish. And I noticed the supermarkets are selling these now, especially Morrison's. Um, and these are the hot noodles, similar to the two times spicy in the red packets. So I'm gonna have some of them with uh, some garlic bread. One thing I found is better with these because they're quite long noodles is I snap them each way. And that just saves you having sort of long noodles, it shortens them up a bit. So they boil for five minutes. Then after five minutes, you drain most of the water out, keeping about eight spoons, eight spoons worth, and then you add the sauce, thick black sauce, and these chilli flakes and you sort of stir fry it for half a minute, 30 seconds and then you serve and there it is already served up with some lovely garlic bread from what I had from the weekend so uh, that is my spicy lunch today so that's how nice that was beautiful and the garlic bread okay so what I'm doing there it may not look appetising <laughs> Um, we're having a curry next Saturday for hot and spicy and I'm just making some base gravy um, like, like they do in the Indian restaurants really and there's onions in there, garlic uh, and ginger and then what you do is boil it up like that and I'll simmer it now for about half an hour till everything's sort of translucent and then uh, blend it and then I can put it in the freezer and there'll be about should be enough there for about four or five curries. So it's about an hour or two later and uh, that's my base gravy in equal uh, quantities. So there's enough there for four curries. I had to put in one of these, I'd run out of uh, this type of thing. So um, they'll go in the freezer now and then just bring them out. I'll just bring them out um, the day before I want them. And uh, that's it, my base gravy for curries. It looks pale, doesn't it? But that's because of the onion and the ginger and stuff like that. And the garlic is all that type of colour, you see. But uh, it'll all go curry coloured when we add the other spices. Okay, so it's important to note with the base gravy I've made, the one I've made is a specific one um, <clears throat> when you're using a spice pack. It's very basic. Um, an Indian restaurant would use probably onion, garlic, ginger, tomatoes, carrots, uh, sometimes potatoes and some spices. And that would be always on the go in the kitchen and it makes them turn out the curries quick. Uh, but that would be a Indian restaurant uh, proper base gravy. But the one I've made is uh, very, very simple. As I say, specific for when I use uh, spice packs of dried um, uh, chilies and uh, spice blends and things like that, which I will be on uh, Saturday. So um, they're in the freezer. The, there's three of them or four of them in the freezer. I forgot, no. Three, I think. Um, no, they've all gone in the freezer, so I can bring one out for Saturday on Friday to cook. And then um, and that's it. So... Uh, We'll show you in the garden now what's going on there, what's growing, what's going uh, good this year. Right, I'm just going to cut some runner beans Mrs H has grown. And they're going for lunch. Really nice. Now the broad beans.
Go. So there's the broad beans and the runner beans which Mrs H grew and uh, this is my Denby plum tree which we planted this year which was a gift from Mrs H quite a rare tree uh, and it's doing well so um, we'll show you the apples now and this is our little apple tree and since the first year we planted it Mrs H bought them and this has just given fruit from the first year, it's fantastic. They're not ready yet, as you can see, but they're beautifully sweet apples, uh, which we both enjoy, and there's loads on there. So fantastic. Just looking now, and the bumblebees love the lavender. They love um, lots on there. So this is the Maruga uh, Trinidad Scorpion. See this tiny chili coming there? And there's another one just there. And there's one here. Where are you? And this leaf thing. Can get to it. Where are you? Down here, so I can look. Oh, there. That's this, see? There. When that turns red, should be hot, baby. <laughs> well, it's Tuesday morning now, and uh, it's raining, as you may be able to hear. But someone is comfortable and enjoying it. First job, kettle on. Kettle's nearly boiled, so cup of tea first, and then we're going to be having a breakfast and sort of lunch together. I'm just cooking some bacon in the background. If you can hear the little uh, convection oven going, halogen oven. I've sliced these mushrooms up. I think that's a double yolker egg. And we'll fry some tomatoes. So we'll have bacon, egg, tomatoes, uh, and bread and butter. Oh, one more addition. Add some oil to the pan. And mushrooms will use a good bit, you see, so you need. Oh, we'll do. Here we go. Level them out. There's nothing nicer than the smell, if you like mushrooms, of mushrooms frying. So let them go for a bit. Right, they're about done, I think. Tomatoes are just about done for me. See if this egg. Is a double yolker. Ah, I was right. <laughs> That's about done for me as well. Just right. So there we have it bacon, egg, double yolker, tomatoes, and mushrooms with a nice soft yolk. And that bacon there was only 90 pence. It's called cooking bacon. And it's, it's like the end bits of the bacon you use in cooking normally in stews and that, but it's like a piece of gammon, it's lovely. One more thing to do. I'll show you. Beautiful soft yolk. So that's the end of the video thanks for watching just a few bits and bobs i uh, hope it was interesting to watch and um, didn't keep you too long uh, so thanks for watching have a great rest of the week 
and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.